Uh, all right, hello. So, so Sumer is one day and one week away. Shut the fuck up, you fucking go. All right, so basically, Sumer is one day and one week away from today, and I am planning on using my pulls to pull for, or pull on the Zhongli banner. Uh, I would have pulled on Tignari, but it was 100% confirmed now that he's going to be on standard and I'm probably not going to be wasting wishes. But this is a video for my preparation, personally, for what I'm going to do for both Kale and Tignari for their, uh, for their builds, from what I have as a very light spender. Alright, so just for reference, uh, I'm just going to go over Kale's and Tignari's talents real quick. So, Akale, uh, her E skill is just whatever. It seems like an okay skill. Her duh. But the only thing I'm in kind of interested in is the passive talents that it gives. How she can uh, use elemental reactions and it will uh, it will do a little burst of damage or 40% of Kali's attack to another opponent for 3 seconds. I don't know how it's going to work, uh, but I'll test it out once I get Kali and... Uh, same thing with her other uh, other talent. Every time she causes a reaction, it extends her ultimate uh, longer and longer. But besides that, um, yeah, I'm just gonna level both talents up to level six. That's baseline. I think it's good enough for uh, this uh, for a start. Uh, yeah, her her skill is kind of just whatever, and then her ultimate is what I'm interested in. Just constant danger damage. The more, uh, the more times they hit enemies, the longer it will last, and it's a very cheap ultimate for a 4 star, and that's kind of interesting. So I think uh, I think the builds that I have for Kale will, or the first build especially, will do really good for Kale. Next build is Tignari. Um, Tignari is charge attack based. Uh, I don't know how good his charge attacks will be. I can't say anything. Uh, from what I see, they have very mediocre multipliers for... Uh, charge attack. I mean, I'm basing everything off Ganyu because Ganyu's busted. So, yeah, they. I mean, they seem okay. I mean, I've seen that they shoot multiple charge attack things once he once he fires it. So maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Uh, his ultimate does seem pretty good. 40 energy cost, uh, and it shoots a bunch of little uh, vines or whatever and does extra damage. Uh, I think it was six vines that it shoots. So in total, 95. 95% damage uh, times 6, that's about 600 or so damage that you're doing. So that's pretty good, uh, I'd say. So I think I think he might be good on a, a Nobla set. I don't cover a Nobla set though because uh, it's, I don't really have good Nobla artifacts that I really want to show. But I just want to throw in there that uh, I think that a Nobla uh, no bless plus attack percent or elemental mastery percent something like that. I think that might be good for Tignari too But I don't know and about his passive talents there They work like Yaimiko's and I don't want to talk about that cuz I hate Yaimiko. Sorry <laughs> All right, so back on the apartment brought my very first build that I am going to do for Kale I put all my I put my build on Amber uh, So she's also a bow user and yeah so my first build is with the free bow, the Fading Twilight. I think, oh, first of all, this bow's garbage on Yellen. If you use this bow on Yellen, you're, uh, you're an idiot. You got Favonius for free. Don't use this bow on Yellen. Uh, but yeah, Fading Twilight, I think, will work really good with Kale. With the build, with this first build I'm doing, it's going to be a DPS-oriented build. But Fading Twilight has the damage increase uh, over time even when you're off field, so that's perfect for how Kali will work with her burst. Gives the energy recharge, it was easy to get refinement 5. Uh, nice, pretty high base attack for a 4 star. I think it's a it's a pretty good all around bow for Kali. And the artifacts that I'm going for, uh, this isn't really the best because I have an attack percent goblet, just because uh, we don't have dendro goblets right now, but I'm just using it in place of a dendro goblet. Uh, for when Kali first comes out since I'm not gonna be having a dungeon of a goblet. So this is the first build. It's two wanderers, two emblem. The two emblem is just for the extra little bit of energy recharge so I can get uh, Kali's burst up. And then the two wanderers is just for extra elemental mastery for the elemental reactions that she's gonna do. So these are the total stats. Uh, I think 
I'm I'm just I don't know anything about dungeon reactions yet because I don't know how they'll perform in game, but I'm kind of using the same standard as uh, people usually use for uh, melt and vaporize reactions and just having about above 80 or something for them. So that's what I'm doing for dungeon reactions, and I'm just gonna hope for the best for that. All right, so this is my other build for Kale. Uh, it's a completely DPS orientated build with uh, Skyward Harp. Uh, you can also use the Veritas and Head if you want because it looks nice on Kale, or it will look nice on Kale probably. But just for now, I'm just gonna put Skyward Harp on because it, it looks better uh, for stat wise. Double uh, attack percent artifacts. Uh, not really much to say. Oops. Okay, whatever, didn't change much. But yeah, double attack percent artifacts on uh, her just because we don't have access to the dendro artifact set yet. I'm going to talk about the dendro artifact set at the end, but um, yeah, this is just a pretty basic build. Nothing much more to say. So this last build for Kole is all elemental mastery. Uh, my elemental mastery goblets are in. All my elemental mastery artifacts are really good, so that's why I have this, but don't pay attention to this really. Uh, this is just side effects from that, but this is all elemental mastery. Uh, two choices in bows, I feel like. You can always use stringless for more elemental mastery for more ele elemental reaction damage. And But I, I, to be honest, feel like either using Fading Twilight again, or Favonius Bow, or uh, Sacrificial Bow. Anything with energy recharge uh, would be pretty good, I feel. If you don't want to run elemental mastery, just so you can try to get your burst up. Um, artifacts, uh, I don't really care. I, I mean, there's not really like another artifact set really to run besides two piece wander. So I just kind of slapped on all my best elemental mastery artifacts. But yeah, two piece wander, you want substats with elemental mastery. I have like none with uh, with elemental mastery here, so it's whatever. But uh, besides that, you just slap on all elemental mastery. Uh, of course, this piece though, uh, you can switch out for energy recharge wherever I have one. But yeah, you can switch it out for energy recharge if you want to run stringless instead for this. Just so you can just get energy recharge. Maybe it is better to run energy recharge here since it does give 55%, I guess 55%, right? Oh, I just gotta check real quick. 51, whatever. Yeah, 51% energy recharge instead of getting uh, however much halt these bows do. But I do think Favonius would be probably the best to run just for the white particles or Sacrificial for two uh, two of her skills. I don't know how good her skill is going to be, but uh, that's there too. So yeah, that's the last build for Kale. Just simple, all elemental, elemental mastery builds just for elemental reactions for Dendro. The last build is just Tignari's, just in case I get him on um, the off chance I get him one day. Um, pretty much, uh, oh, well, let me switch this real quick just so it makes actually some, it actually makes sense. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give him four piece wanders like I had right there. Four piece wanders on him. That's pretty much it. He's he's a charge attack based character. Uh, maybe you can put no bless on him. I don't know. It's it's just uh, uh, it, he might be good with no bless. I don't know, but uh, I'm guessing he's gonna just be best with charge attack for now. So this is probably gonna be best. Of course, you could do four piece bow too, but I don't have any of those, so whatever. But uh, yeah, four piece bow This this works. Uh, of course, almost bow is like pretty much the only bow you ever use for him since it's charge attack. Besides a signature weapon, whenever he gets that, um, yeah. There's nothing else really to show, just just use the same thing you'd use on a Ganyu. I'm going to talk about the new artifacts. Uh, I think both of them are going to use the Dendro artifact set. I don't I don't see a way Tignari can really use the Gilded Dreams, but both of them seem like they're going to be using the Dendro artifact set, uh, or especially Tignari. But Kole could use the Gilded Dreams artifact set. Uh, for different elemental teams or multiple element teams, but I don't see Tignari using it anytime. But that's all I pretty much wanted to say on this. I think both of them will use Dendro Artifact Set, but Kali might use it on different teams. But I do think both these are or this this Gilded Dreams Artifact Set is going to be for someone else. That's really about it. Um, but yeah, those are my plans for both Kali and Tignari. 
Uh, I'm excited for Denger. I'm excited for the Genshin update. I might make a video uh, just talking about, uh, I don't know. I might make a video about wailing on the, or not wailing, but spending all my primos on the weapon banner if my Kali let goes good on the first banner. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, bye. Also, pull for Kokomi this wipe. Wipe? Oh. <laughs>